Hey everyone, this is Black Binder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majayal with the Cultist of Entropy. Alright, last time we left off, we had just finished all the Tier 1s. We tried to go, and we did, oh no, last time we are, we did the Slave Compound and the Halfling Ruins. And this time we are going to start the Tier 2s. We did try to do Old Forest, but... Um, there's quite a difficult guy sitting there waiting for us, so we're going to have to wait to do that one. And then hopefully we can do, we can get the uh, maze finished. Alright, we are marked, so we need to move. Uh, how do I want to move? Let's do it this way. There we go. Let's track so I can see the archer. I guess he is not there. All right. Now, I think I have, you can get uh, alternate maze, um, which is a much more difficult version of the maze because it doesn't leave you with a way out except for Rod of Recalling because you have to jump down a hole. And I think we're good here, because normally you get Drems, Drem enemies in there, and I haven't seen any, or I haven't seen any holes either, so I think we should be okay. There we go. Herald of Oblivion can take care of him. Alright, what do we got here? He silenced us, so let's blink away. Alright, it blinked us towards him. Or on the other side of him. Let's just keep waiting. There we go. Now we'll rune, shatter afflictions, and then run away. Void monolith, frenzy, cacophony, frenzy, cacophony. And we got our big guy out. Cool. We are rooted. Alright, moon. It's a crappy dagger. It's an artifact. I think it's got like darkness damage on it. I don't, I don't remember. Never used it. All right, we're blinded again. Let's put our void monolith right there. Ow, something's hurting us for a lot. Oh, I think he sear, I think it was an anorthal. Yeah, and we were standing in his sear of light, searing light. Oh my God. We need to get out of here and heal a little bit. Give us time to have all of our stuff come on cooldown. Alright, he should be around the corner. There he is. Alright. Can't frenzy, but we can do one round of Dark Whispers and Cacophony. And, and then Entropic Gift. Alright, we've got a Saw Butcher here with Arcane Combat. Alright, awesome. So let's get back very far away. Frenzy. Oh uh, crap, I don't think our our cacophony hit him at all. There we go. I was wondering where my Herald of Oblivion was. Thankfully he showed up right at the end. Ooh. It's an artifact, uh, Great Mall. Random artifact. Do not know what we're facing here. Miasma engine and shock staff. I have no clue what that is. I'm guessing he's an annihilator. Let's track. Did he have? Ah, oh, crap. I think he has cacophony on him, but I don't know. Shield. All right, we're just going to have to run away. No, thankfully our Dark Whispers killed him. That there, heal a little bit, and then Frenzy, Dark Whisper. That is a Warmick. That's why he breathed on us and hurt us for a lot. Grappler. Yeah, Grappler and a Rogue. So we need to be careful with this guy. Oh, we teleported a little bit too far away. 
Man, I really need some extra light radius. Can't see anything. annoying part of the maze is these you got these molotars and every single one of them can do uh, where is it or not them it's the it's not the molotar it's the minotaur yeah the minotaur the molotar is like a mage basically but the minotaurs they can all do where is it war shout right here shout your war cry in a frontal cone radius of five any targets caught inside will be confused so you get confused quite a bit in here Alright, our Herald of Oblivion finished them off for us. Rune of Reflection, that is very good. We want to use that instead of our Shielding Rune. Now, let's see what it does. Activate the rune to create a protective shield absorbing, absorbing and reflecting at most 375 damage for 5 turns. It's a very, very good uh, rune. We will use it instead of our shielding rune. Because it is just better in every way than a regular shielding rune. You can actually use two shielding... Normally you can only use two of the same kind of infusion or rune. But with rune of reflection you can actually use two shielding runes and a rune of reflection. It doesn't count against your limit. Wait for him to come around the corner. There we go. Alright, we got him. Actually, I think those two are fighting each other as well. Let's rest a little while. Alright, here we go. This guy's going to be rough. He is also a... Cultist of Entropy. Frenzy. And then do our rotation. And another blast him to death. Come on, why are we resting for so long? There must be a lot of enemies in this level. That's when when you see my guy kind of being, his movement is kind of choppy. means there's a lot of enemies. Maybe there's, it usually means there's a vault somewhere. Happens a lot in Old Forest with the big, um, the big vault. Let's rest a while. All right, we got a level. Awesome. Ooh, a Vortun Dagger. That is a tier 5 dagger. Well, that means it's the highest base level dagger that you can get. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. Wait, what was I doing? I want to go into my level. All right, magic, cunning, and then what? What do we want here? It looks like prodigies. You get a prodigy at level 25 now. It used to be level 30, I think. Oh, my God, I don't even remember. Whatever. Um, what level are we now? We're level 22, so in three levels we can get a prodigy, and we'll have to go over every single one of those. But for now, ah, man, I would I would like it if my herald lasted longer, but we need to go on and get some other stuff. What is all of dust? Let's see if we want to get a race at all. We, we probably do, but I want to know if I'm getting it now. Summon a radius four storm of all-consuming oblivion at the target location for four turns, reducing those within to nothing. Targets within take five, six darkness damage and six temporal damage each turn. Walls and other terrain within the storm will, will be disintegrated. That's not good. We like walls. Each time the storm deals damage, enemies will have any detrimental magical effect with less than three, turn, three durations set to three duration. And all enemy projectiles will be destroyed. That's good. We can make our cacophony basically last a lot longer. Four more turns anytime we can cast this, but... Um, I really don't like destroying walls, but we will get it eventually. Let's check out Split. The target enemy will be partially removed from the normal flow of time for five turns, inhibiting their ability to interact with the world. All damage taken will be reduced by 74%, while all damage dealt will be reduced by 46%. 
While active, you form the frayed threads of their timeline into a temporal clone of them for the same duration, which assists you in combat. This clone is identical, but has 26% reduced life and deals 46% damage. Um, I don't think we're actually going to get that. We have enough pets and distractions as it is, but maybe. I'm just not going to get it now. For now, I want to I want to raise the... Hold on. Alright, I want to get my black hole up to radius 3, I think. And um, it also lasts longer as well. So instead of just 2 turns, next time it will last for 3 turns, or next skill. And at level 4, it should go up to a, a radius of 3. So, more crowd control, basically. Let's go... What do we want over here? So I really don't know. I guess we should we should probably get some light armor training. Let's, uh, shatter afflictions, track so we know exactly where he is, and then frenzy the son of a gun to death. That guy was pretty durable. He actually was able to survive for a little bit. Alright, step, sidestep his ooze spit, and then blow him up. We have exterminated a thousand creatures. Shatter afflictions, move away, and then uh, blow him up. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Overkill. Holy cow, there's a lot of people there, and they were invisible. I must have hit an ambush trap. What the hell is hitting me so hard? You know what? Let's blink away. Give us time to come back at him. Uh, it was a temporal warden. No wonder it was doing a lot of damage to me. Ooh, Spell the Drinker and Star. Star is the other dagger to that moon. It's a set. It's a set piece. M moon and Star, I think, go together. Why is there a luminous horror here? <laughs> Doesn't really seem the. I mean, if I was an alternate maze, maybe, but. At least there, there. I think you get Drem Horrors or Umbral Horrors. I forget. The little worm guys. Alright, hold on. Now, in Alternate Maze, you get multiple, multiple levels. Like, four levels of the maze. But with, with the normal maze, it's only one big original level. And then the second level with the boss. move away because he was a cursed all right that is a dream hammer get out of the way of it because it can hit you twice I actually think it was it had already hit me but I didn't want to take any chances shatter afflictions he's probably gonna sleep me again nope we're good all right let's scooch back a little bit then frenzy him to death We are confused for four more turns, so I'm going to get rid of it. Put something right in front of him. And blow him up. Alright, what do we got here? He's just a bulwark, but I don't want him to stun me, so I'm going to step back. Oh, he is durable for sure. Let's open this chest before we move along. 
There might be someone right here, but I want to check. Nope, they're not. Okay. Ooh, we got some orcs over here. Nice. All right, I think that's all of level one. Let's check out if we got any goodies. Um, decent ring, good res or good amount of resistances and some life. Uh, it's better than the one we have on. Yeah, because I value the resists more than I do for cunning. Let's check out these staves. No. No, not good enough damage. Uh, that's 26%, but the spell power isn't that great. Alright, Spell Drinker can be good. Um, when this weapon hits, Disperse Magic, 15% chance at level 1, so... But we obviously will never use that, so... But it's good to keep as, like, an offhand, even if you're, like, a two-handed user. If you need to remove... Sometimes you'll need to remove sustains just to kill someone. And that's when you would switch out for that. Lelo de oh, well, that's got a lot of stuff on it. Let's see. Maximum 71 life. Okay, so we are going to use it. It's better than ours already. Spell power on critical. Awesome. Two magic. Awesome. Spell crit. Awesome. And... Yep, that's all we need from it. But that is much better than what we have. All right, Iron Torque of Gale Force. No, we don't need that. It's got silence immunity, but again, I'm not too worried about being silenced all the time. There is one place that we will get silenced a lot, but I'll just be careful there. 54 life. This has got negative 60 and crit multiplier. What does this one have? Hmm, healing mod. No, I'm just going to keep the one I have. They're both good. You could make an argument for either one. All right, looks like this one has good resistances and 11% darkness damage. Um, no. This one has spell power on it. Damn, it's getting hard to choose. Oh, here we go. This one makes the decision for us. 80 life and 20% healing mod with 20% blindness immunity. We will take that hat. It's got a lot of stats on it. What does our what does ours do? Five life regain. I think we can get rid of that now. Is it worth it though for five magic and four cunning? Oh, but it's also got seven spell power. So yeah, we will take that over the five life regain. Regen. Not a very good belt, especially not compared to the one we just got. All right. Now, in the beginning here, you got to be careful because a lot of guys are going to come at you at once. Seems like um, when you enter, pretty much every time the boss knows where you are, so he'll make his way to you. Yep, that's him right there. He he just confused me. And this is a necromancer. Let's put something right in front of him. Ah, oh, crap, he's behind me. I frenzied, so let's go ahead and do cacophony. Shit. I, I don't think my cacophony can get through... Uh, the ice block, so I have to wait a turn. I thought I frenzied. Maybe I didn't. Let's go ahead and spatial distortion everyone. Put them over here. Alright. Easy. A cut drem arm. I forgot. I forget what that is, but I know it's a tool, but for some reason I think there's a way I can use that. Like, I think there's something uniquely decent about it. Disarm immunity, that's right. 100% disarm immunity, immunity, and the arm can sometimes reach out to a foe in radius 5 and grab it to you with a tentacle pull. This action is not your own choice, it has a mind of its own. So yeah, it is uniquely good. Ouch, something is hitting me very hard. Let's run away. God dang it. I accidentally moved two times in a row. It's not good. We are in trouble here. I am running out of stuff to use. Let's get rid of what? What what is this? Seared? No, I don't I don't care about that. 
Yep, I knew it was coming. God damn it. Thank you, I am ready to go back. Let's run away. I don't need to fight them all at once. Unless I really need to. Alright, what was that guy that is causing me so much issues? Well, he's just a Archmage Rogue. It really shouldn't be that much of an issue. I wonder why my uh, dude isn't spawning. Keep moving down, because remember, there's a snake back there, too. At least, I think. Nope, he must have died. Okay, what do we got here? Icy Skin. He is some form of Warmick and Gunner or Psy Shot. Take this guy out. He's a summoner, so we shouldn't have too much problems with him. Other than healing over and over again. Vestments of the Conclave. Crappy, crappy robe. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our dexterity up to 20 and take another in light armor training. I'm taking too much damage lately. Although, to be fair, I think it was magic damage, not not, uh, not uh, physical or weapon damage. All right, this is going to give us another turn, so it's up to three turns. And we need one more point in it to get um, the radius to increase by one. Then we'll be done with that. Horrifying blows, we should probably move away from him. That means he is a demonologist, right? Or no, uh... Doombringer. Did I get him? I did. Ouch. Vortune plate armor, nice. That is another tier 5 item. Tier 5 is as high as it goes. Basically level 5 armor. All right, let's check out what we got. Fester Moon, good mind damage, but we don't use mind damage. Decent damage, crappy spell power and spell crit. Let's check out this Vortune armor, see how good it was. Look at all that. Look at all those damn resistances. <sighs> oh, well. We can't use it because it's heavy. And even if we were wearing heavy armor, we wouldn't have 60 strength by now anyway. Nothing that we need. Aramitira. Aramit Aramitira. Crit critical multiplier, but that's really all we need on there. So we're not going to use it. And it can be used to create a radius 3 storm for 5 turns. Each turn creatures within will take 56 lightning damage. That's not bad, but ours is better. Okay. Now, now we want to go... We have a choice to make. Either Sandworm Lair or... Daikara. I'm going to go to Daikara because the Sandworm Lair, it's not, it's easier monster wise, but it's harder based on terrain. So you have more control over your fate in Daikara. It's just, it's harder to actually win. Like the monsters here are harder. Um, but that's where we're going to leave it off for today. Uh, and, ugh. yeah, we're at 25 minutes, so there's no point in getting into Daikara now. So, if you like what you see, please leave a like or subscribe and then comment down below if you see me doing anything right or wrong. That's my mama.